Yo, what's up YouTube? Coming to you with an updated build video. We'll be updating all my builds every month. This is the updated stats on it. You have 2400 reach in, 2000 stamina. Match recovery is good. Um, 31,000 max health, 30, basically 32,000. Like I said, we did change out some things on the build and some sets. Um, I will get into that later. And big shouts out to my boy Kevin Adam for thinking the same thing I was thinking. Shouts out to you, my boy. We are using a serpent on here, and we're using um, takeaway broth as the consumables. Um, we are an orc because I like the movement speed and the other buffs. I will go over them later. Um, like I said, if you can't afford the gold food, you can use Dubious Crown. It's a, um, and you can use um, Alliance um, Droughts also, or Tripods, depending on your preference. Like I said, Serpent Mundus, this is the unbuffed stats, if you were wondering. This is what you would look like just walking around. Like I said, I made some adjustments to the build, but like I said, I have to update after um, each patch, so I'll let you guys know, but not too much changed on the build. Getting into the skills, Ramsack is still the spammable that we're using on this build. Like I said, it um, does 4,400 physical damage, taunts them. It gives them with major breach, reducing their physical and spare resistance. And the, like I said, it gives you minor protection, reducing your damage taken by 5% for 15 seconds. That's important. I'll tell you why later. Shield Assault. This is your gap closer, your CC. It gives you a shield. This is one button hits all. Like it makes you feel really fast. You can get around the battlefield with that. Um, Crystal Weapon, they did. They did implement a patch on this. The patch basically um, just made the damage go down a little bit and it made the cost cost more and it made, I think, the time go up. So they didn't do too much to nerf it. Like I said, it's still a viable skill and we still will be using this on the build. So you guys don't have to worry. Like I said, and it's great after casting this, your next ability does less. Like I said, resolving vigor, um, still the heal on the build, great, great heal, dark deal use this this is your oh i need more stamina change your magic of the stamina you want to use that at all times like i said just keep that up over 20 seconds like it's it's great spell wall we use this because lately um it's been a lot of bow builds out here or just projectile um casters so we use this to reflect a lot of that back at them and we don't block on this build so that's just good to keep pressure off of you um like i said first ability on the back bar is haunting curse like I said, this is basically the Sorks shock. Um, like it's, it's just lovely. You put a you put a curse on them. Basically, it, after 3.5 seconds, it, it hits them with 11,000 damage. After 8.5 seconds, it hits them with another 11,000 damage, and it hits targets nearby. Like it's great. You put that on one person, it hit everybody near them. Hurricane. This is your um, like I said, your Oh, shoot your major resolve that increases your physical and spell resistance it also gives you minor resolve to, I mean a minor expedition to make you run faster like a hurricane it gets bigger after 20 seconds of doing more damage over time great great skill you want to keep that up at all times blinding flare we are using this because while slotted you gain major protection reducing your damage taken by 10% if you would have went back to the other bar when you puncture somebody you're getting minor so you're getting minor and major protection on this build on top of the physical and spell resistance but rally this is your heal this gives you major brutality and sorcery increasing your weapon damage by 20% as well as gaining minor um, endurance creature and stamina recovery and it gives you a great heal the longer you keep it up the bigger the heal is uh, executioner this is your executive choice on the build deals 400% more damage to people under 50% when they get low you want to get to executing them putting your crystal weapons all of that Dawnbreaker Spiting is the ultimate I'm using on this build. I'm using this because it CCs them. And while CCing them, you deal 14,000 physical damage to them. And you hit them with a 16,000 dot over 6 seconds. Great, great ability. Um, let's go into the sets. Spriggan's Mace. We are using a mace on this build. And we're using it Sharpen for more pin. Like I said, um, we changed up sets. So I wanted to give you guys an update. Spriggan ended up giving us, I think I want to say about six or 600 once you factored in more um, weapon damage, once you factored in a medium armor, extra piece that you were wearing. Great, great set. You can one bar this. One of my, still old school set, but still a great, great set. On the shield, you can use infuse. You also could use M pen, but you do want to have this front bar. So Spriggan's. Um, oh my god, the Veda Shran great sword. You want to have a great sword on here for more weapon damage, but you don't have to have the perfected. While momentum is active, 
casting a stamina ability gives you a, a stack of weapon damage up to 200 i mean 290 29 i'm sorry it goes up to 290 after you have five or more stacks you can hit everybody with a aoe that does 4007 four yeah 4700 physical damage this blows up like this you use rally anyway so let me show you rally use this anyway so while you have this up basically just casting your skills is going to give you stacks it man just great great i love this if i wasn't using this i would use the master's bow but i love this um gauge assisted this is our mythic of choice on a build we are using this reinforced with prismatic i always try to use um, reinforced on the big pieces and prismatic on the big pieces also this just gives you 3200 health 1000 health recovery and 4000 armor the blocking we do on this build comes from spell wall we don't block on here we roll dodge so this works perfect with us and the play style that we use this build for the pariah this same set like I said, increase your physical spell damage based on your missing health up to 9,969. Right now, we're at 2,300. So that's basically what, 7,000 more physical and spell resistance that we can get. Right now, I think our physical and spell, let me go look. Physical and spell resistance is like at, okay, 31,000 on my back bar. And you have 32,000 on your front bar. So add another 7,000 of that. You're at basically that 39,000 resistance when you get really, really low. So you get really, really tanky. You can survive a lot of executes with that. Roll dodge, hit you a bigger, you back up in it. Magma Incarnate. I do have Prismatic on this. You could do um, Stamina if you wanted to, but have this m -pen. We use two well-fitted m -pen and two reinforced on this build. Stamina Recovery and Magic Recovery. Great. Best one piece on the game besides like Pirate Skeleton in my opinion. Um, Spriggan's well-fitted. Like I said, you do want to have this on your small pieces and we are running well-fitted. Two well-fitted now on the build just for row dodging like reducing the cost of that is is great we just want to reduce all the cost that we can the best we have spriggans we have this prismatic also i have this in m pen you could do this and reinforce if you like for more physical spell resistance but m pen just reducing those crits was nice also m pen on this pariah now let me wait let me go back to the prior real quick to show you that just so you can see but um weapon damage you want to have infused weapon damage on two pieces of your jewelry and you want to have a reduced stamina cost on one piece. The reduced stamina cost is, is, is so huge. It makes your puncher like 700. Like cost, it, it reduced the cost of everything so much. It's lovely, lovely. I use that on pretty much all my builds. But here you go. But like I said, if you do like, like I said, you like the build, hit me with a like, comment, sub. Let me know that you do like this. Like I said, I will be constantly updating the builds every month. Keeping them up to date with all the new patches and if anything changes. Also, I do have um, build showcase videos showing you the gameplay of the video. I will link them. But here's the champion points so you guys can check them out. Like I said, at any moment you need to pause it and go over it, you know, you can. I ain't going to do too, too much talking. But like I said, if you guys are enjoying this, um, like I said, the patch is dropping ASAP. So I'm going to be updating all my builds with stuff that isn't getting patched. So like I said, if you do want non-proc builds like high max stats nice damage and they're survivable check out more of my builds like i said i do have have a ton of them i'm working on a couple more builds at the moment but if you do have any builds you want me to work on just let me know and i will do it like i said going back to the champion points i did change out one um enduring resolve i end up liking that um it's another one you could use though it's right next to it it's the dueling one this one um is also nice like i said i actually like the dot one because right now it seems like it's a dk meta so that was taking a lot of the dks out and as far as here like i said if you need to just pause it at any time and get any of them but like i said more builds to come i do have um going over the skills and rotation in a second so you guys can check out that but like i said if any moment you need to rewind or anything just go ahead on rotation and skills is coming up in a second for you guys and the burst combo so you guys can see exactly how i use it and how it works for me okay going to skills like i said you want to have all of your orc passives like i said if you need to pause it go ahead on but you want to have all you want to have these combat medic because you do have blinding flare so that does increase stuff i have these passives also and on it, like I said, on it metal, you want to have that always. Get that. It's big, big, big. Here's the fighter guild skills you want to get. 
heavy armor here are the passives you want to get on there now we have medium armor the passives you want to get here like i said if you do like to build let me know we'll be dropping more i might do a two-handed and bow build also but um here you go and the passives you get here and you want to go ahead on and make sure you pick up all of these passives pick up all your Dedric summoning passives and last but not least all your dark magic passives now here's the burst of the build like I said you want to pop your rally you want to get buffed up you can put your crystal weapons on first but you don't have to I want to show you um like I said this crystal weapon right there let me just show you right now 5593 weapon damage increase your stacks right now I'm at I think that's seven stacks eight stacks here, I stuck at eight stacks, but you're pushing six thousand weapon damage easily. So, boom, boom. Okay, now I have ten stacks. So, five thousand eight hundred twenty-three. So this is the burst of the build. So you want to put your curse on them, put your crystal weapon on. Then you want to shield charge. Right when it's happening, boom. That's gonna knock people down. They're gonna get hit with so much. Let me show you again. Curse crystal weapon shield charge it should pop boom you'll knock them down right when the, that pop crystal weapons again but that's the burst of the build if you need to see it I'll show it again boom. simple heavy attack make your face stram boom execute 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 pretty simple rotation for you show you again just simple just simple simple like i said if you do like to build like comment subscribe i got more sauce coming for you guys like i said check out my build showcase videos i have one on pretty much every single class but until next time guys holla at your boy thanks